Hello good day viewers. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you three different ways on how to find the maximum or minimum value of y in every given quadratic function. The maximum or minimum are just the values of y at the turning point of a quadratic graph or the vertex of that quadratic graph. What is this vertex or turning point? Suppose we have y and x axis like this and we have a quadratic graph like this. This particular point is what we call the turning point or the vertex of that quadratic graph. This is an up and off parabola and we could have an up and down, right? Something like this. The same thing, this is the vertex or the turning point. So the value of y at that point, you can see this is the corresponding value of y. This is also another corresponding value of y. So this is the minimum value of y while this is the maximum. It depends on the nature of that quadratic function if the leading coefficient is positive like this one you should expect a minimum value but if it is negative you should expect this one so let me show you how to find these values of y in three different ways though we are looking for the minimum because our leading coefficient is positive but you should know that both the minimum and maximum can be obtained through the same way first method We have seen that if we have a parabola like this, this is the turning point and we are looking for the value of y at that point. We can also find the corresponding value of x at that point. So once we can obtain this value of x, we can substitute it into the original function to find the corresponding value of y. And that's what is going to be our first method. And you should know that this value of x is at the line of symmetry, the line that divides the parabola into two equal parts. So let me show you two different ways to find this line of symmetry, which is the value of x. x at that point is equal to minus b divided by 2a. And what is b? b is always the coefficient of x, while a is the coefficient of uh, x squared. So this is equal to minus, what is b? b is 2 divided by 2 times a, a is 1. If you simplify this, you shall obtain negative 1. 1 so x is equal to negative 1 and you can also use differential calculus to find this negative 1 because you should know also that at this particular point the first derivative is equal to 0 so we can differentiate that function and set it to be equal to 0 uh, remember our function is f of x equal to x squared plus 2x minus 3 if we differentiate this function f prime of x equal to the derivative of this will give us what 2x and the derivative of this will give us 2 right that is plus 2 derivative of constant is 0 so if we set this to be equal to 0 that is 2x plus 2 equal to 0 2x equal to negative 2 divide both sides by 2 you have x to be equal to negative 1 so in either case you are going to obtain x equal to negative 1 at that point but we are not looking for x, rather the value of y at that point. So what are we going to do? We are going to substitute it into the main function. That is f of negative 1. This is equal to x squared, which is negative 1 squared, plus 2x, which is 2 times negative 1, then minus 3. Negative 1 squared is positive 1. 2 times negative 1 is minus 2, then minus 3. 1 minus 2 is minus 1, minus 3 is minus 4. So this is equal to minus 4. It means that y at that point is minus 4. This is the first method. And the second method, I would like to use vertex form of a quadratic function. The vertex form is given as f of x equal to a, which is the leading coefficient. In our case, we have 1, multiplied by x minus h. This h is the value of x at that point, which we obtain here to be negative 1 all squared then plus k so this particular k is the value of y at that point so y will be equal to k at that point so how can we transform our quadratic function in this form let me show you remember we have f of x equal to x squared plus 2x then minus 3 we are going to transform the first two terms into a perfect square quadratic expression so we have f of x equal to x squared plus 2x. What can we add to these two terms to make it a perfect squared? 
half of this is one one squared is one so if we add one here it is going to be a perfect squared but since we don't have this one we are going to take it away don't forget to bring negative three back so this is the only thing we have added which is zero one minus one is zero so we have not added anything the purpose is just to make this first three times perfect squared and to factorize it you take x here without power then half the coefficient of x which is one then you square all don't forget we still have what minus one minus three which is minus four so this is our f of x in vertex form remember i told you k is what the minimum value therefore we're going to consider negative four y equal to negative four the same thing you know previously we obtained negative four then the last method i would like to use formula y equal to 4ac minus b squared divided by 4a if you simplify this you shall obtain this negative 4 so let's substitute a is the coefficient of x squared c is the constant which we have here as minus 3 right and b is the coefficient of x which is 2 so let's substitute them y is equal to 4 times a is 1 c is negative 3 minus b is what 2 so we square 2 divided by 4 times a which is 1 4 times 1 times negative 3 will give us negative 12 minus 2 squared is 4 divided by 4 times 1 is 4 to the top we have minus 12 minus 4 is minus 16 divided by 4 and 16 divided by 4 you should know is 4 because of negative we have negative 4 so y equal to negative 4 which is our minimum value right minimum value so these are the three different ways though we have others you can construct the graph of that function then you should notice uh, the minimum of that quadratic graph thank you for watching do share to your learning colleagues and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel for more exciting videos remember that this is method number three